What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from Unsleeve Media, and uh, look what I have. I didn't even know I had this laying around, but it was a it's a box of Modern Horizons. And I have to say, I think I got this to play with Sargon and Count Dankula in Chicago. We didn't get to it, so mm, their loss, our gain. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of spice in this set. Um, all the way up to Ren and Six, which is a $50 card. Urza, Lord Artificer, which is $33. Force of Negation is $30. Prismatic Vistas, $22. Actually, let's take a look together. Yogmoth, uh, $14. Sword of Truth and Justice, $10. Morophon the Boundless, $11. Season Pirates. There's a lot of $10 bills in the set. On top of that, uh, I forgot I had it. So this is like free money. In, in a weird way. <laughs> so uh, I have the overhead camera set up. It's not ideal right now. Um, I'm remembering all of the little quirks that, that it had before. Um, but it's still better than uh, just holding the camera up. So I'll get a play mat underneath this and also get some uh, more light coming in so you can actually see the cards better. Uh, but it's still going to be pretty good. I think so let's take a look let's go hunting a uh, hunting we will go yep there we go oh the pack crack fever is this upside down I feel like this is upside down so let's actual actually uh actually Let's see. Let's flipper dipper until these are right. So we have shapeshifter. Oh yeah, we had the weird full art cards. I guess I don't. Th I don't know if I ever opened this snow cover. Oh, so the rares right in front. What the heck? So we have the Mox Tantalite. Very first pack. Hit a mythic right away. Probably one of the not as spicy of a mythic as we might want. And then you have Frostwalk, Bastion, Scale Up, Urza's Rage. Okay. Oh, now it's all coming back. I see that this is a little dark over here, but it's still, it's still better. Oh, we got a foil token. Foil zombie token. I don't know if those are a big deal anymore or not. And boom. Force of Vigor. Four mana. If it's not your turn, you may exile a green card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Store up to two artifacts. Okay. Wing shards and exclude. So what are we really looking for? Red and six. Urza Lord Artificer. Foil versions of these would be a super spicy. Oh man, it's so no build up when it's right there. Wow! Oh yeah, so cool. Wow! Collector's oof. <laughs> I don't know. Alfie. Uh two mana, two two. Okay. Move Talisman of Curiosity, Tempered Sliver, and King of the Pride. I know I didn't do a video yesterday. I just, I was feeling really just fluish. Down, just down. Soldier, token. And whoa, wow. Altar of Dementia. Two mana sacrifice a creature. Target player puts a number of cards equal to the sacrifice creature power on top of their library into the graveyard. Spicy, Lowly Sandbar, and Conifer Worm. I was just, I was not feeling great. I actually, I had a window in the afternoon when I could record, and uh, I just kind of fell asleep in my chair. So it's probably my body telling me to slow down. I've been pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, fast and furious with videos. Goblin, these full arts are pretty nice. A nice touch. No covered island and. Kaya's Guile, three mana instant where you could choose two. Each opponent sacrifices a creature, exile our cards from each opponent's graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one, uh, spirit creature, or you gain four life, and it also has Entwine. And you got Rebuild, Theros of, or Throws of Chaos, and Dreg's, Dregscape Sliver. Now this now this set has that that new card smell, foil token, art, snow covered plains, and a waterlogged grove. Nice, multi 
you know, people nowadays just call them dual ends, but if you were around in the in the 90s, you'll get repulsed by someone calling it that. So we'll call it a bicolor land. You could pay a life and add either a forest or an island. So I'm assuming these one of these random tokens are probably worth money. Pashuk Mons, three mana two two. Whenever it or another goblin you control dies, it deals one damage to any target. Oh, that'd be fun in a goblin deck. Goblin EDH probably too. Dooby dooby doo. So some of them are not foil, or oh, the two-sided ones probably are. And oh, we got a foil hollowhead sliver. Sliver decks are always great. And a bizarre trade mage. Three mana, three, four flying. When it enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard three cards. Not too shabby. Cast Dissident Mage, another mythic. Uh, four mana, three, four with flying. Each During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If the card was cast this way, exile it instead. Very powerful card. That's absolutely. Now we've got two mythics. Two of the, um, how do you say, less than spicy mythics. We haven't had any big hits yet, but it's early. There's a lot of packs left. I forgot how long these booster box openings go, so I'm trying to keep it going. Very cool art. Snow-covered swamp and a nurturing peatland. Nice. Factor fiction. At one time, that was a pretty expensive uncommon. It's been reprinted enough, although maybe currently it's up there again. All right, we have bird token. Spicy art, snow covered island, and oh, force of negation. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. And a foil fester of fools, but who cares about that? Well, I don't know. It might be one of those randos. Force of negation. Nice rip. That's a good one. That's a spicy one. As a thirty-two dollar card. At rare too. That's pretty. That's legit at rare. Scrapyard Recombiner, three mana. I don't know if I sh You guys let me know in the comments if you want me to read the cards. Crypt Rats, nice. I'm going to go to the second half of this video not reading the rares. Just because of time. Maybe when sets are new, read them. That probably makes more sense. Foil Mirror Token. Sword of Truth and Justice. That's our third mythic already. Now, this is not a bad pull. This is a, a $10 bill, too. Nice. That's not all about money, I know. But when you're talking about these expensive reprint sets, uh, you pay more for them, and you hope that, you know, you could earn some of your money back. That's that's built in it. Force of Despair. Nice. Ren and Six probably off the table now because it's a mythic. Same with Lord uh, Urza Lord Artificer. Uh, duplicates of Force of Negation would be good. Uh, Prismatic Vista would be a good pull. Um, Sword of Truth and Justice, we already got that. Uh, Morphon, Seasoned Pyromancer. Most of the value in the set is at Mythic, so it's hard to... We already got three. So we're going to need to get our value out of the rare slot. Or a random foil. Unsettled uh, Mariner. Tranquil Thicket. Fallen Shinobi. 5 mana, 5 4 with Nunjitsu. Oh, the bane of my existence. The Kamigawa sets. I already mispronounce enough words the way it is. Uh, go and watch me unbox anything Kamigawa. It's, a, it's an absolute bloodbath. Deep Forest Hermit. We got Frost Rock, Frostwalk Bastion here, Snowland. Love that. Mm. 
And, oh, whoa, another, whoa. We ended up with the Yawgmoth, uh, Thran. Uh, we ended up with another spicy, spicy pull. 15 bucks. Our fourth Mythic? That's crazy. Is that really our fourth Mythic? We open one uh, in the first pack. Then we have Yawgmoth. Maybe I'm thinking of the rare. Nope. And then I got Sword of Truth. This is another good pull here. Force of Negation. Cast Dissident Mage. So we have four Mythics already. And there's like 12 packs left. What's happening? Oh, what? Back to back? Oh my god! Wall of Blossoms, Face of Divinity, and Tribute Mage. Back to back! The same mythic, back to back. What? 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 Plainbound Accomplice. Okay. I feel like, you know, Seasoned Pyromancer, maybe. Unbound Flourishing, that's another mythic. I mean, there's a lot of decent pulls in this set. If I look at the second page, you know, we could go... Sun, all the all the two-color lands are like... Well, Fiery Islet and uh, Sunbaked Canyon are both 9 and $8. Uh, nurturing Peatland, $7. So these are 6 $7, these lands. That's not too bad. Get a couple of those. Echoes of Aeons. Force of Vigor. I think we got that. I think we opened that. That's a $5 bill. So we're doing all right. Foil Squirrel Token. At one time, those were in high demand. I don't know if that's still the case. And Dead of Winter. Love that art. Whoops. Sorry. Dead of Winter. Very cool. We're into a classic unsleeved media unboxing here. Uh, Iula's Influence, triple green. You don't see that very often. The casting cost, that is. Trying to speed it up for you. Oh, Sunbaked Canyon. Nice pull. Vesper Lark, Talisman, Tranquil Thicket. Thicket. This box has been pretty spicy. Give me a, and and the packed negation is at at uh, rare, so we could hypothetically see how. Yeah, it's definitely kind of washed out with this camera. I'm gonna up, update the firmware probably. Hall of Heliod's Generosity, nice. It's definitely looking washed out. I think because of the gray here. I'll get it. I'll get it popping. I'll get. I'll move a light in here for when I do these unboxings again. Archmage's charm. We've cooled off significantly, but that's okay. Foil golem token. Cloud shredder sliver. Nice. Foil bear token. Got to get all these foils out of my basement before uh, they turn into Pringles. Genesis. I can't dance. I can't walk. But there's something way that I talk. Right? Is that Genesis? I feel like I had that tape when I was young. Force of Rage. All right, we're getting down to the end here. Last seven. Last seven packs. Go, go, Endling. All these sweet slivers in here. You know, tribal decks are just, I know that they're mostly for, like, noobs, you know, or EDH. 
just something feels so good about all that natural synergy you get. Spiteful sliver. I have a feeling we're going to peter out here. We're going to peter out in the end. That front of that box was stacked. Our foil rare is a spiteful sliver. Back-to-back -back rares. And then we have unsettled mariner. You never know with slivers. Foil versions of them. You never know. I'm not going to look it up right now. But could be worth a few bucks. I don't know. EDH people in your foilies. Uh, on thin ice. Love that art too. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling the airs left the room. We started pretty insane though. You know, so there's that. Reap the past. Two packs left after this. Prismatic Vista. Not too bad. I think that was up there too, wasn't it? I feel like, yeah. Whoa, what am I talking about? Sick pull. 23 bucks. We've got the most expensive, both of the most expensive rares. Between that and Force of Negation, that's 55 bucks. But I know I'm greedy. I know it's greedy, but oh, I want that Ren. Oh, I want that Ren. Squirrel's Nest. I want that Ren. All right, two packs left. Let's do this. That was good. Prismatic Vista out of nowhere. That's good. That, that was a nice save. All right, here we go. Foil, Soul Strike Technique, and Mirrored and Besieged. Last pack. Will we pull it off? Signs point to no. <laughs> Still a solid, solid box, though. Okay, well, the rare is not Ren and Six or Urza Lord Artificer. It is Tectonic Reformation. Throat Seeker and still very good box, I would say. You know, our foil rare wasn't very good, but we hit almost all of the big money rares. Um, Prismatic Vista was one. I'm probably missing a random foil that's worth a good amount of cash, too. Uh, Sunbaked Canyon's a, a decent rare. Double Yogmoth's very good. Force of Negation, sort of. I mean, that was a pretty good box. It was a pretty good box. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.